Hi, my name is Kevin. I work for Alive and Kicking Goals, a youth suicide prevention project in Broome. Uh, my job is a peer educator slash mentor. Uh, what we do is go around the Kimberleys running workshops based on suicide awareness and uh, mental health, talking about emotions from feelings, relationships, living strong and uh, positive lifestyles and goal setting. I'm here with Jeffrey. Hi, my name is Jeffrey James. Uh, I'm a guitarist from a band called Oz Island. And I'm here with Kevin to talk to you about suicide prevention. When you're feeling a bit uh, stressed out, Jeff, um, does playing music and uh, maybe writing lyrics, thinking about words, thinking about yourself, getting off your chest, does that, does that help you out? Yeah, it helps big time. Doing what you love doing does get rid of the stress, mostly, yeah, especially with me, you know, when I'm stressed out, you know, I, I just get my guitar out, I just play, yeah, mostly, yeah, it's just my passion, stuff that I got passion for helps me release the stress, and yeah, it does a pretty good job. Jeffrey, the first time you walked on stage, uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I was a bit nervous. I mean, I, w I was actually terrified, but uh, you know, I had to make a choice because it's what I wanted to do. And to do that, to reach to that another level, I had to get out of my comfort zone. And you know, I told myself, if you want that, you gotta give it a shot. Because if you're not gonna give it a shot, then you're not gonna get it. So you have to stand up and reach for what you want and I had that's what I had to do and after a while, you know, I always had it in me but I just didn't know. So yeah, I just did that one sh shot that I didn't want to do and then everything changed from there and got better. Yeah. Were there any people that told you that you, you can't make it, that you weren't good enough? or try to talk you out of your passion? Uh, this one guy I know personally, uh, he told me that I was aiming too high, but uh, but that didn't, that didn't uh, put me off or anything, because, you know, I, know, I knew what I wanted, and uh, I just found him wrong. Because I, mean, uh, I just didn't care. Because no one can tell you you're wrong or say you can't make it. The only person that's stopping you is yourself. So don't ever, ever let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Was it a hard road getting to where you are now? <laughs> yeah, it's still hard today. I mean, it's, it's a lot of work. I had to make a lot of sacrifice. I had to. You know, I had to discipline myself. There's a lot of stuff I missed out, personal stuff, you know, because uh, I'm, I'm based in Perth, uh, you know, and I'm from the Kimberley, so I'm, it was hard, but I just kept pushing myself work. Had to keep, you know, keep working for what I wanted, and I had to make sacrifice to be where I am to today. That's yeah, awesome, yeah. man. And along with those um, positive things, um, there's always going to be some failures. Yeah. And uh, how, how would you cope? How, how have you been coping with failures in the past? Uh, I just think of it just as another cyclone. You know, it comes and go. But uh, I always tell myself, you know. Whatever you want, you will get it. You gotta work hard for it. Don't let the first failure knock you down. You gotta be strong and stand your ground and fight your way through. What would you say to a young person, uh, maybe 14 year old, that may be struggling with mental health of their own or a family member? What would you say to them? Um, uh, if you got, you know, problems, uh, there'll always be someone there to talk to and. You know, never be ashamed to ask, just 
you know, they will always be someone there to talk to you, to help you out, 